Search Engine Optimization Tutorials for 2025. What to focus on, what Google wants from your website so that you can achieve the results that you deserve. Some people suggest to you that search engine optimization is dead and buried in 2025. Due to AI, technology is evolving, people can create content using AI tools and so on. But nothing could be further from the truth, meaning search engine optimization is actually more important in 2025 than in previous years. I've created this illustration to share some insights with you for you to focus on. If you want to achieve great results from your business website, whether you operate a local business website or an e-commerce site, it doesn't really matter what type of industry we are in. If we want to see great results coming from Google, as well as higher conversions, then you need to focus on user experience on your website. Improve it to your best ability. Simplify design process. I've created some tutorials you can find on Rankia YouTube channel and Rankia website as well. So keep that in mind, okay? So social signals will be more important. Another factor to consider when we think of social media profiles is that behavior of Google searcher is changing. In 2025, the way people interact with technology, whether they use their laptop or a desktop or their, their mobile devices, it's changing. That means you want to be able to showcase your brand, your services and products, whether the person is searching Google search, whether they are looking for some videos on YouTube or they're interacting on Facebook. You want to be able to get in there and interact with your target audience using different social media platforms. Yeah. Another critical factor is improving user experience. Yeah. Whether that is laptop user experience or a mobile device user experience. Make sure that your website works great and loads reasonable fast on any device. Also, 2025 means for search engine optimization world is that you need to focus on originality and diversify your content. Content on a website means the text, images, videos if you have them, PDFs, and so on. So you need to be able to focus on originality, meaning when you right-click on an image on your website and use search with Google Lens, that image on your website should only be found on your website. That's original image. If you're publishing someone else's image or images that Google has seen elsewhere, then that's not helping your business website. That means focus on images as well, because they play an important part on any website. Also, yeah, backlinks. When you create content, especially targeting you know, long-tail keywords or question-oriented words, let's imagine we, delete, uh, we search for this. Let's imagine this scenario. Let's search Google. Let's see. I've got some videos here as we can see. Ah, I'm in the first page. Perhaps down the bottom. That's no problem. I can focus on improving the rankings for this URL and content. But you know, creating how-to related tutorials, looking at Google search, Let's imagine how to SEO 2025. You can see that sometimes people ask questions. Then you have to ask yourself, you know what, 
can you create content accordingly? Instead of focusing on ranking one, two, three different keywords, which was never great for search engine optimization, you want to focus on targeting diverse set of keywords. Now, backlinks has always been important, but Google has strict guidelines for backlinks. In fact, I'll share with you one great tip. In fact, this is a rank your trade secret. See, backlinks are important. You want to make sure that your content is shareable and make it easy for people to share and communicate towards the end of your content, asking people to share. And as time goes on and you create great, useful content, what will happen is your backlink profile will improve naturally and organically. But you can if you want, use this technique. Creating a website in 2025 is a straightforward process. If you were to create an original website with original content, you can get one or two backlinks from such website. And there is nothing wrong when you follow that approach. Why? Because it's an original website. And one or two backlinks pointing to your main website from a domain that has perhaps important keywords is a backlink within your control that is within Google guidelines you can utilize. And as I've said, it's very easy to create a new website. It doesn't cost much money or resources. There are different ways to get backlinks, but you need to be very thoughtful. Best way to get them is get them naturally by having the content on your website. This will be another important factor. Why? Because Google focuses on websites that have trustworthiness, authority, and so on. And how can Google calculate that? When they analyze your backlink profiles, social signals, then they can determine the trustworthiness and authoritiveness of your website. That's why you also want to target question-oriented words because it builds authority. Once again, don't use AI to generate content for your website. That is the worst thing you can do. You can use AI tools to brainstorm and get some ideas. That's no problem. But when you communicate, you have to have your own voice. Because people have to read before they interact with your services or buy things from you. And if you don't have your own voice, the way you communicate, then that's not going to help. And AI tools, if used, they can never find your voice. Also, let's take a look at a couple of changes that Google has recently made. Let's look at guidelines. Creating helpful, reliable people first content. That means content for people. Content is not just text, but images, videos, PDFs. You need to diversify your content. Finally, free tool available by Google called Google Search Console is your website's friend. In 2025, they have more uh, menu links and more options for you to utilize. One being Core Web Vitals. You want to make sure that your website does not perform badly on mobile or desktop view. Also, while here, let's look at search results. I'll show you a trick here. If you were to use Search Console, well, you can surely compare date ranges and all that stuff, right? But when you look at this, whatever the keywords you're already getting website traffic for, you can analyze them. And when you're looking at that, look at the pages that's performing well. Because some pages will perform better than the other. If you have website, as a web pages that is not performing well, 
you can perhaps update them and improve them. So, Search Console, Call Web Vitals, and also we have enhancements that is coming from Google Rich Results, which are absolutely critical. We can read the docs to see what Google spots. Google spots many different schema markup types and encourages websites to utilize them. This is part of search engine optimization. It could be cumbersome for some website owners, but nonetheless, it's important to utilize. Also, let's say Google Guidelines Images. Google has best practices. You need to be familiar with these. Because optimizing your content, whether it is the URLs or images, they will help your website to achieve better results. Structured data will become even more important in 2025 and beyond. Because rich results and the AI overviews are becoming more important. Let's imagine SEO tutorial, tutorials for 2025. Look what Google shows. These are coming from featured snippets. That means if you optimize your website to your best ability, include structured data, then all the latest um, algorithms that Google has will benefit your website. Let's take a look. Okay, let's ask a question. What is search engine optimization? An AI overview. As you can see, people don't need to actually go down, look at other results, because AI overviews are providing basically instant answers. As you can see, Google ranking well and Google user interface is changing. And Google has guidelines to, to adhere to. And Search Console must be utilized because it shows you if your website is performing well. So let me wrap it up. In 2025, search engine optimization, when done correctly, is more important and will continue to be more important in 2025 and beyond. That means focus on original useful content, diversify your content, make your content shareable so that you can obtain backlinks naturally. Ask yourself if you can interact with your target audience and capture their search cycle, perhaps on YouTube or Facebook or other social media profiles. Meaning, wherever your target audience is, you want to perhaps get in there and interact with them instead of just wait for Google Web search to bring website traffic. So, I thank you for learning with Rankia. If you've got any questions or comments, use the blog commenting section or comment on this video. And I'll talk with you in the next video session.